guys, welcome back to my channel, Inshaz Iglu slash Hafizin because I want to continue the Hafizin word with my channel. It's more relatable until all of you get used to Inshaz Iglu. So today I am going to take you to a restaurant and we're going to review it. I have already covered this restaurant one time before, but at that time we went there for breakfast and now we're going to try all the chakpata stuff over there. This is a halal restaurant named Chat House and it's located in Sawana, Northeast Calgary. So we're going to go there and I will be reviewing that for you. And let's go and see what we try over there this time. So guys, I've discovered this halal place. It's called Darwin's Charcoal Barbecue Chicken and it's 100% halal. So this is the menu and it looks quite tempting. And I'm thinking of going here and trying it. So, yeah, this is gonna be my choice now because Chart House is closed and they open at 3 30 on Sundays. Or we can go to Taj Kabob, Afghan street food. How's that? Let's look at the photos. Hey, this looks good. Oh, I really like that. Should we try that? Okay, I think I'm gonna try this one. And that's for sure now. Alright guys, I'm on my way to Tachka Bowl because there was a change of plans. Chat House was not open at the time we wanted to go, so we are going to go to Taj Kabo right now. And I think we are also in luck because recently I heard a very bad review of Chat House, so it's good that we are choosing another place to go. So let's go and meet at Taj Kabo. See you then. We are here and I was supposed to meet my friends at Taj Kabo, so I'm just going to head inside. I parked so far away. The parking lot was quite full at this time. Here's me spanning through their menu. They have kebab platters, they have shawarma, they have wraps, a lot of variety in beef, chicken, and lamb. And this is what we got. The side portion is quite nice over here. And I like that they have such a variety for the sides as well. For example, you can see the fries over here. That's a side with the main menu. And these potatoes over here, this is a side with the main menu. So you have quite a lot of choices and you can have your food the way you would like. We are here for a special occasion. We are here to celebrate one of our friends' birthdays. And here is the cake. This is a customized cake by one of my tried and tested cake baker and I'm gonna leave a screenshot over here with her Facebook contact and if you are in Calgary and you're looking to order a good cake, try her because her cakes are the best. They look the best and they taste amazing. Guys, most of the footage in this video is from last year. I think this is from June or July last year as well. This is when Badkarahi had opened in Calgary. Badkarahi is a sister branch of Fatima Karahi Corner. And they kind of have the similar management. So we were expecting really good food from here. Also, we really wanted to try something new. So here we are at Badkarahi. Let's go inside and see what the place looks like. And now it's time to go through the menu like any Pakistani restaurant in Calgary. This has similar kind of menu. They have curry dishes, barbecue platters, barbecue dishes. They also have seafood. We don't find seafood in a lot of uh, Pakistani restaurants, so that's good. They also have separate kids menu and that's extremely nice whichever pakistani restaurants have separate kids menu kudos to them because they know their market 
every pakistani at least have a child so yeah we need more kit menus in more pakistani restaurants <laughs> Also, when we went there, there was someone very important over there, very, very important, VBIP. So, yeah, initially I just couldn't figure out who this person was, but when he started singing, I got to know that's Bohemia. Um, and we used to be really huge fans of him when we were younger. So that was a nice added incentive with the food. But the food came so late. It took them 45 minutes to do our order. And we had to spend time waiting for the food. And it wasn't fun. <laughs> Moving to another day, today we are at Ali's Barbecue. So it's not a huge restaurant, they only have like three tables, but I've heard a lot about their food especially their barbecue and i just wanted to come over here and try it they are also famous for their beef ribs uh if you are a fan of those you should try those i personally am not a fan of those so i did not try it but i have heard a lot of good about those so if you're into it try it so we ordered two different kind of uh, barbecue platters and also their nihari and everything tasted delicious since they don't have a lot of space so if you are thinking about coming over here you should probably book a table beforehand or arrive early because we arrived over here around 6 p.m and a lot of people come out for dinner late so we got their biggest table and that was awesome because we had kids with us as well but yeah you cannot be lucky every time so either reserve call and reserve i'm not sure whether they reserve or not but you can try doing that or arrive early and i also saw a lot of people ordering out so they were doing their takeouts and they had a lot of orders they filled a lot of orders while we were sitting over there and wait till you see the yummiest dish of halim i think we ordered halim not nihari i said it wrong earlier so yeah it's a good place to try out you should try it out at least once and these are my suggestions for today and i'll catch you next time next week next thursday with a new episode subscribe my channel and bye for now uh -huh.